Would you like to be part of the video below? Are you stealing the show, baby? Yes. Oh, you look like a teddy bear. You look like a teddy bear. Cecilia and welcome back to yet another busy weekend in the life of a small Etsy shop owner. I am very much trying to escape the stress and mundane dread of everyday life and for some reason I chose to do that by adding more stress, pressure and deadlines to my life. It's fine, I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, this weekend I'm taking you with me doing a bunch of stuff. I'm making new products, working on a custom order, and I'll probably get some designing in, but of course what you're all here for, I'm going to organize my craft supplies and make more of a functional studio space because right now it is kind of a mess. So let's not wait too long and just using a Dutch saying, go with the banana. Ah yes, the beautiful before shot. Well, it's an utter mess and needs fixing, so let's do that. To start, I got some cute crates and a mini cabinet to organize my supplies. Let's both enjoy some unboxing footage while I still dwell in the fantasy of becoming one of those Pinterest perfect small business owners. You know, the ones that have like perfect warehouses with boxes and tags and colors and everything matches and it's like perfect and beautiful and then later you realize that your expectations for that setup were kind of delusional. Well, yeah, here's me trying anyways. The first step is to remove all of this mess and of course I fail immediately because as you can see I basically throw everything on the floor. So let's clean that up. And the quick vacuum never hurt anybody. And here's the pile that we'll be organizing. Bye bye my beloved plant friends, you will get a new home probably on the dinner table. I have this customizable wooden rack and I just added a new plank to make sure I have more storage space. Before we get to the actual organizing, let's enjoy some ASMR crate clicking noises. This pink crate will be the crate with all my postcards that I sell in my shop. We have the Nooklings design and we have the leaf you gotta do what makes you happy design. And wow, look at me struggling to hold this in one hand. Next up is the yellow crate where I'll be storing my letter writing sets. Apart from the Eric and Fauna writing paper, I also have the Stitches writing paper. Both designs come with matching envelopes. Then we have the white crate, which will be dedicated to packing supplies. At first I thought these bubble mailers were perfect for this crate, but they just did not fit, so I ended up taking them out. I store my tissue wrapping paper here, and also my business cards. And then we get to the more miscellaneous items like ribbon and writing cards and labels to write on when I pack. We have these pouches to put freebies in. Some cute stamps. And of course, more ribbon. Gosh, I haven't used a lot of ribbon. The green crate is for art supplies. I have some sticker books 
and my notebook that I keep with me always, and then some paint, some watercolor paint and some gouache paint. Let's put these full crates on the shelf. Then we get to the part I was most looking forward to, which is putting all my stickers in the right compartments. Apart from the red and Nico sticker we just saw, we also have these chevre stickers. And look at me struggling yet again to do something right. We have these Zelda Switch stickers, the leaf stickers, and my KK album stickers. There's also the recent Cyrus sticker. These are some Oopsie and B grade stickers, which I like to gift as freebies. And speaking of freebies, this is the compartment for freebie and packaging stickers. The setup looks just so organized, but very colorful still. In my failing quest to be a Pinterest perfect small business owner, I decided to put labels onto my shelves. And here's me making the labels and cutting them. I just used a brush pen to write out the names of my products. And here's just a quick montage of me putting all the labels onto the sticker cabinet. And of course, also these crates deserve some labels. And that basically wraps up the organizing. Here is a before and after shot for you to enjoy. And yeah, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. On Sunday morning, my dog and I enjoyed a walk in the park. It was beautiful and there were so many birds. It was then time to work on a custom order. My family has been super supportive of me ever since I started Storycrossing Studios, and my sister especially has been very interested. She turns 8 tomorrow, as I'm recording this voiceover, and she commissioned me, of course with her parents' permission, to make 40 custom stickers so that she can hand them out to all her friends on her birthday. It's super cute. And here's a speedpaint video of me designing the sticker. It features an interpretation of Dossie, which is her favorite stuffed animal, and a few of her favorite things, such as hockey, reading, dancing, drawing, and scouting. It was so funny, because as I was making this, she was staring over my shoulder and asking, like, Is it done? Is it done yet? Please, is it done? And in the end, I think she was super happy with it, and I was honored to have made this for her. Forty stickers is a lot, of course. I made five sheets of them, but I'm just going to show you the process for one of those sheets. Here I'm just formatting the design in my Silhouette Portrait Studio page, and here's how it looks after I printed it. I showed you guys in my last video how I make stickers, but I'm just putting them on the sticker mat and I start laminating them. And then it's up to the machine to do basically most of the work. For those of you asking, yes, you can cut stickers by hand, but I have very shaky hands and it never comes out pretty and it always has like rough edges. So I really love my sticker machine, but yes, you can do it by hand. The first sheet is done and it's just time to take all of the stickers off the mat. I love this part of the process, it's just so fun to see your designs come to life and to see the final product. Here are the stickers, they've come out so good. Later that afternoon I took a break to walk to the mailbox and drop off some packages with some orders. These packages were going to Switzerland and Canada. It's so fun to see my packages literally travel the world. I wanted to end this video with kind of a little bit of an unboxing because 
I got a package in the mail, it just arrived, and I'm very excited for what's inside. It's been a dream of mine to design stationery for a very long time, and well, there's, there's something very special in here, so let's have a look. Ooh, it has a pool tab. It has a pool tab. Oh my god, I'm so excited. They're actually much smaller than I expected. I expected them to be a lot bigger, to be honest. Let's open one and see. Oh, I'm so excited to see if it all worked out the way I wanted. Ooh. Yes! Oh my god, look at it! Beautiful. <laughs> so these are magnetic backed notepads and I designed them, of course. And well, as I said, they kind of fit in my hand. I was expecting them to be like A5 size, but this is this is much smaller, but I think it will still work. Um, this was also a test. I only ordered five because I don't know if it will sell yet. Yeah, I genuinely love how the print turned out. The print is great quality and it has 50 sheets. Um, yeah, I love it. So I just really, really hope that people um, visiting my shop will like them too. Um, yeah, I think if I make more in the future, I'm definitely gonna look at a manufacturer who can make A5 sized ones because I think it's a little bit too small. But I'm still pretty happy with them, so for a pilot, this is great. I forgot to film an outro for this video with my actual face, but I feel like by now you've seen enough of my face, so you know you can look at the speed paint of a Korok design while I say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for being here, for caring about my art and my craft, seriously. Even if you've only ever seen one post of me, I still appreciate you and thank you so much. But if you did make it to the end of this video, leave an emoji in the comment that looks like a Korok. And if you'd like this type of content, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks so much again and have a great day or night. Wow, zero filming skills, zero brain cells.